Uh, in this sort of unit about video games and computer games, we're going to look at computer games from the point of view of the controller and think about creating a controller. Um, we've used Scratch so far, so I thought what we'd look at now was a, a more 3D gaming environment. So we're going to have a look at Kodu. Uh, so if you've got Kodu up, this should be the menu that you are presented with. Okay, we're going to start off by building a world in this video, and then we're going to get a character in and move on to, to get them to move and to do lots of different things. But first of all, we will just start with our game level. So we're going to click on New World. Now that gives me a, light, a nice blank canvas here. So on my mouse, if I right click, I can drag about. If I left click, I can spin up and down. And I can use these tools here at the bottom to allow me to edit my uh, level. So we've got We'll ignore these first few and we'll start with this little strange paintbrush. So this is our terrain painter. So if I click that and I click and drag, I can paint on more terrain. I can also click these boxes here uh, and I can choose different terrain. Now you might choose the arrow keys on the keyboard to move left and right. Let's have a little bit of some lovely orange flowers. Um, I can use this other section to change the shape. Might have a bit of a circle. Uh, if I scroll my mouse wheel up and down, oh, it's not doing it at the moment. It used to um, change the size, but I don't know how you can do that at the moment. So I can paint on with this one. I can choose, let's go back to my square. Uh, let's choose a different color just so you can do different things. Uh, I'll lift this blue and I can get around here and I can just build up a level. Once I've built up a level I can use this button here which is the terrain raising and lowering feature so if I click with my right mouse button the train lifts up if I click with my left mouse button the train goes down okay and you can it'll only go down to a certain point Okay, but I can move it around and then maybe go back to my arrow to spin around, get a bit of a mount in there. So right click goes up, left click goes down. Uh, I've then got a flatten tool here. So if I right click on this, it will kind of flatten it for me. So you can see it's smoothing it out. If I if I right click, it kind of does real flat plateau. If I left click, it does more of a, a sort of curve. So it tries to curve it over a bit. Then I've got uh, this next tool here is sort of a rugged sort of area. I, I call it like bumpy ground. So uh, if you have to see there, if we go back to the hand and move it, that is bumping up and down. And again, right click makes it bumpy. Left click actually just raises it up as a sort of a less bumpy area. But I can do that and I can... I'm going in and out, so I'm starting to make a bit of terrain that is on there. I can then also use this button here, which is the water. Uh, if I click and hold, the water level goes up. If I right click, water level goes down. So let's put a little bit of water on there. You can see that. Uh, I've got different colours of water. The thing about the different colours of water is that if I change to say lava tile water, it does nothing. I have to get rid of the water first and then build it back up to have more sort of lava style water. But using all those tools, those main tools, one, two, three, four, five, you can start to build yourself up a little bit of terrain. You might need to use the mouse wheel to scroll in and out, and you might need to use left and right buttons to spin it around, but you're getting a little 3D world. So you can keep going and creating your own little 3D world.